The Arab League renews its condemnation of Israel's crimes against Palestinians on the Deir Yassin massacre anniversary. The Jordanian Prime Minister has arrived to Qatar. 111 mosques have been approved for i'tikaf as the 10 last days of Ramadan usher in. And Al Shahiniya takes down Al Gharafa to enter the Emir Cup semifinals. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. The Arab League renewed its condemnation of Israel's racist and terrorist policies in Palestine on the 75th anniversary of the Deir Yassin massacre on Sunday. The bloc condemned Israel's ongoing ethnic cleansing and forced displacement of Palestinians, which has persisted since 1948. Commenting on the massacre where Israel killed at least 250 Palestinians, the Arab League's Assistant Secretary General for Palestine and the Occupied Arab Territories noted that it, quote, rumbled humanities and the free world consciousness. Jordan's Prime Minister arrived in Doha on Sunday as part of a working visit to the country. He will head a ministerial delegation and hold discussions with Qatari Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani, focusing on bilateral relations between the two countries. And now the Ministry of Endowments and Islamic Affairs, Awqaf, has allocated 111 mosques in various regions across Qatar for I'tikaf during the last 10 days of Ramadan. I'tikaf is a significant Islamic practice performed during the last 10 days of Ramadan in which an individual secludes themselves in a mosque disconnecting from worldly affairs and concentrating solely on worship. The names of the mosques where Atakaf can be performed in the Qatar can be found on our website at www.dohanews.co. And finally, second division side Al Shahaniya took down Al Gharafa 4-3 on penalties to advance to the semi-finals of the Emir Cup. On Monday, Al Dahid will face Al Sahiliya as the team will seek to claim their second title triumph. Tuesday, we'll see the star-studded Al Said team take on Al Muslal as both teams battle it out to meet either Al Arabi or Al Shahaniya. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.